Welcome to Hancock's VMware Half Hour. And welcome back to another installment of Hancock's VMware Half Hour. I must be I'm struggling here. I've got a frog in my throat. Uh, we'll see if we can get through um, this one. If you were watching the last video, um, it was all about um, replacing the SSL certificate on an ESXi host in our new lab here. Um, so following on from that tonight, uh, and again, I'm sure that we've all seen this in our EE labs um, and probably in production as well, um, the not secure self-signed certificate that VMware provides us when we install our VMware vSync server. So in this video tonight, um, I'm going to replace that. Uh, we we're lucky that we have a Microsoft Active Directory certificate server or certificate services or commonly known as a CA, um, certificate authority uh, in our lab uh, here. So we can actually leverage that to generate the certificate signing request, the CSR from VMware vCenter server. Uh, we can cut and paste that certificate into our Microsoft Active Directory services. Uh, we can get a base encoded 64 certificate out. Uh, we can paste that into VMware vCenter server. It's going to restart the services and hopefully all will be well and um, the not secure will disappear. Well, that's the plan anyway. So let's um, let's log in. Um, I'm just quite surprised to see a. Um, let's just try that again. Um, as usual, uh, Chrome um, all busted. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is select administration and select certificate management. Now, VMware. Uh, makes this really, 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 really simple. Um, it's a lot easier than the GUI. You can do this um, at the command line if you want. Maybe we'll do another video on that in the future if you really want to do command line stuff. Uh, but we have a GUI. Unlike what we were doing for ESXi, which was an awful lot of notepad and command prompts and running long commands and cutting and pasting and all that stuff. Um, so all we want to do is basically say generate a certificate signing request. Um, so again, it already is actually basically putting in our common name, uh, our FQDN, vCenter AA-Cyrus-Consultants.co.uk, uh, and our organization, of course, uh, if I spell correctly this time, and don't put a P after top motor or something stupid like that, um, which was a typo. A N T S L T B. Uh, although to be honest with you, you know, like this stuff really here is is all sort of kind of not really going to affect the certificate in any way. Uh, Cyrus HQ. Uh, it's interesting. It's got a pick list for countries here rather than just actually allowing us to type in. Now, I always find it difficult to find the UK. Um, and it's in a very odd place. It's, um, well, it was. You'd think it was under you. It's almost as if it was originally called Great Britain and then somebody changed it, but they didn't actually change the location. Where is it? It's around here somewhere. It was under United Kingdom. Yeah. It's almost as if once upon a time it was called Great Britain. Um, and it was in alphabetical order, and then they just basically changed it to United Kingdom, and it's not in our, it's very odd. But then again, saying that Falkland Islands and Micronesia is not in alphabetical order with Faroe Islands, France, or anyway. Anyway, United Kingdom, uh, state, province, so I'll type in East Riding of Yorkshire, get that wrong as well. East Riding, uh, locality, <coughs> York. I don't really know why we have to put an email address in, but I put an email address in anyway. Uh, subject alternative name optional. Uh, so I'm going to basically just copy and paste that there. Uh, key size 2048, followed by next. 
and uh, I'm just going to uh, copy that, but I'm also going to download that as well. Um, and we'll just save that there for the moment. OK, so we have our certificate, which I've just copied and I'm going to say finish. So now we're going to go back to our uh, certificate server. I'm going to request certificate. I'm going to use the advanced certificate request. I'm going to paste our request. Um, this is um, vSphere 6.vmca. Um, and this is going to do exactly the same thing again in I'm actually basically going to put in uh, sand colon DNS equals and because I'm lazy, I'm going to cheat. I'm just going to go back here and copy that. Um, but do be careful that you don't copy the HTTPS in. Uh, I've done that in the past. Um, so I'm just going to check that. SAN DNS equals vcenter 8a submit. And uh, I'm going to download the um, base encoded uh, file. Just done a little bit of management here. I've actually copied the uh, the certificate, the vcenter certificate. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm going to call that vcenter 8a. That is the certificate. And again, we can do exactly the same thing again. We can open that and we can actually basically see it's issued to vcenter 8a dash cyrus dash consultants dot co dot uk. Um, same uh, certificate authority uh, It's valid from 13th of 2024 to 13th of 2026. Um, just checking again, uh, the issuer is correct. Valid from, valid to is correct. The FQDN name is correct. OU is correct, etc. Uh, and then just actually checking the subject alternate name is correct. So our issued certificate is actually correct. Of course, that was our certificate signing request that we downloaded. We don't need that anymore. Uh, but there's one thing that we do require uh, from our Cyrus-Consultants-Fleco.ca. And I bet you're wondering what Fleco is. And I'll tell you that secret in a minute. Um, so if I just actually go back um, to the root of our uh, certificate server, uh, we need one final certificate. And we actually need the CA certificate from the CA. So if you actually basically go to the root of your uh, Active Directory certificate services, and this is what I was sort of kind of talking about in the last video that I did, um, that this is an internal CA to our organization. Um, and nobody else is going to have this CA. Um, so if you didn't have this CA on your laptop or on your workstation, you would still basically get a not secure message. Uh, so at the moment, vCenter server doesn't really know about our CA. Um, so I'm going to download the CA certificate and I'm going to download the current certificate that in fact is the expired certificate. I need to delete and I'm going to basically download the base in code base 64 and i'm going to download that ca certificate and i'm going to call that uh, fleco ca i'll tell you what fleco is in a minute uh, followed by save as as i said before in the last video i don't do this often enough well i do it i do it every two years um, and then when I get around to having to do them every two years and I've got to sort of kind of activate um, that uh, memory space again to remember how to do all this. Um, OK, so let's go back now to uh, our VMware vCenter server. But the, the, but the first thing I'm going to do really, and I probably should have done this at the start, but I forgot, um, is I'm going to go to the inventory and before I completely mess up this thing i'm going to take a snapshot um because the we're going to replace the certificate and that's going to restart all the services and if we've got or if i've messed up um 
and we haven't got the right certificate or the right CA and it tries to restart those services, uh, it's going to fail. So the snapshot has successfully been created. Okay, we have a snapshot, uh, so it's okay to proceed. So I'm gonna go back to administration. We're gonna go back to certificate management. Uh, we're gonna highlight the old certificate. Um, we've only really got, we've already generated the certificate signing request. We don't want to renew that old certificate. So we want to import and replace the certificate. So we want to replace with an external CA certificate where the CS CSR is generated from the sender server private key embedded. Um, so I'm going to click next. Um, so now I'm going to browse and I'm going to pick I could cut and paste these. Um, so that's our machine SSL certificate. And this is our trusted root, which is this is our Pleco CA, followed by OK. And I'm going to click Next. Um, backup acknowledgement. I have a backup and it's associated with databases. Uh, I don't actually, but I do have a snapshot. So I can roll the snapshot back if all goes wrong. Um, so that's the machine SSL, that's the chain route, followed by finish. Replace in progress. We've got no red, that's good. Um, anyway, so whilst that's doing that, I'll explain to you what Pleco is, if you're interested. Um, in one of our many labs here, we um, I used to keep and breed tropical fish. Uh, it... Um, all went a little bit peaked on really um, after my accident. But anyway, um, I'm digressing. Um, but I used to keep and breed tropical fish. Uh, so one of the domains that we created here at Cyrus is called Fish Tank. Um, and then all the machines and all the servers that are in the fish tank are the sort of kind of the Latin names of uh, tropical fish. So we have things like Danio and Botia and uh, pleco and in fact actually pleco is short for plecostomus uh, and i'm sure even if you're not a fish fancier or a tropical fish enthusiast you've probably seen a pleco um, it's one of those catfish that has an upturned mouth that sits on the bottom of the fish tank and goes around basically and eats up all the crap it's not quite true actually he doesn't eat uh, he doesn't eat all the crap um but that's what we were sort of kind of led to believe all those years ago that these bottom feeders as they're known um uh, would eat all the crap off the bottom of the fish tank and a lot of them starved to death because people didn't feed them because they need to be fed independently of feeding the fish on the top of the server. Anyway, I digress. So that's what Pleco is, if you were, if you were wondering. Okay, so um, that said that it restarted the... Um, uh, so we've got a common name. I'm just going to have a little look here. Um, vCenter 8, Cyrus of Hunt, issued by Valid26. Uh, that looks okay, 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 okay. That looks okay. Um, there was a message that I saw there. It said issue two. Certificate that does not have an issuer name. That's interesting. Certificate that does not have an issuer name. Maybe that's sort of kind of referring to something like GoDaddy or Let's Encrypt. Um, issuer information. Yes, it is. For some strange reason, we don't have our organization or organization unit, state or country in our issuer information. I'll have to look at that. Um, I just it's the first time I've ever noticed. Um, okay, so the certificate's there, but again, you know, we still got this not secured. Um, but as I sort of kind of said to you before, um, often you know, it's cached in a machine or something or Google or whatever. So, you know, if we just um, log out, big X that, open up a session again. And hopefully we're not going to get that annoying error message. And there we go. Voila. So there we go. Two back-to-back -back videos. One on replacing the uh, SSL certificate on ESXi hosts. And one on how to replace the uh, certificate on uh, VMware vSphere vCenter Server 8.03B. Um, D. <laughs> Sorry, eight, yeah, D. It's D we're, the D we're running now. 
Uh, and if I just log back in again um, and just sort of kind of show you that we are all still connected to hosts and they've not all fallen off and uh, virtual machines are running. You know, ignore all these red and greens and, and everything. Um, so I can now delete that snapshot, delete all the snapshots and and that's it. We're done. Um, so we're almost coming up to the sort of kind of final, final video probably of 2024. Um, I've got one more video to do, um, which will be 50 videos that I have created and published in 2024. And often I like to have a break over December and January. Um, uh, December, because predominantly I'm actually basically doing the Try Hack Me Challenge, which I sort of kind of mentioned. I've not got the T-shirt on today, but um, uh, I noticed that Try Hack Me have actually basically started their advent of cyber marketing run now. Um, also, my birthday is coming up soon, and um, I really like to chill out um, after my birthday and in the month of December. So as I said, I've got one more video to do. Um, and I'd really like to do it now before Christmas, so I might have to might have to put that VMware Christmas hat on early. I'm afraid. Uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll we'll see. As I said, I've got one more video um, to do when I get to fifty, uh, but I've got one more video that I really, 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 really want to do, um, and then I might have another one. So it might be fifty-one this year. But anyway. Uh, again, wherever you are in the world, um, thank you very much for watching these videos. Um, if you're watching on Experts Exchange, then please endorse. If you're watching on YouTube, then please thumbs up and like. If you don't like it, then don't like it. Um, you're not going to you're not going to upset me. You really aren't. Um, and again, if you do enjoy this series of um, how tos for this is uh, VMware Beta Eight. Uh, then please subscribe um, and uh, it all it all helps out. So once again, thanks very much for watching this installment of Hancock's VMware Half Hour and uh, toodle pip and uh, good night and goodbye. Bye bye.